sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be talking to you about fashion sewing threads. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. There are three commonly used threads in fashion sewing. The first one is a silk, the second is a 100% polyester and sometimes referred to as all-purpose thread and the third one is a top stitching thread. The difference between the three are the silk is fine and very smooth to in texture. The all-purpose one is its strength and um, it's used in most, I would say roughly about 80% of your sewing projects and that's basically because of its strength and you can get them all range and colours which is the case with all three and also top stitching. Now this is where you want a kind of decorative look, a, a finished look to your project. It's thicker so you need to be aware of using a thicker needle. There is also a fourth thread that you will need for your fashion sewing projects and that is your basting thread. Now the reason why you need a different thread when you baste is because you need to be able to remove it from your work really easily and this is the reason why it easily snaps so therefore it will not snag your fabric. The next thing you need to be aware of is when you are buying your thread there is always a code number so whenever you run out keep a note of the actual code number so when you go back to your shop you will always get the same die in the thread that you need to complete your sewing project. Whenever you visit your fabric store and you'll see a whole array of threads it's always advisable to try and get some help especially if you are a beginner because it can be quite challenging to know what threads to buy. There are threads that are there that you may think are for fashion sewing which are those glorious luxurious silky type ones which are mainly for embroidery so do have fun and do test out all the threads that you can and do remember to build up your stack of sewing threads if you have any questions or queries please put me in a comment box below and i'll see you next time